What is the Braden scale used for? Two options are assessing fall risk, measuring pain levels, predicting pressure ulcer risk, or evaluating nutritional status. The correct answer is C. That is predicting pressure ulcer risk. The Braden scale is designed to assess a patient's risk of developing pressure ulcers based on six factors such as sensory perception and moisture. Question number two: What is the highest score a patient can achieve on the Braden scale? Two options are fifteen. 23 30 or 18 the correct answer is b that is 23 the braden scale scores range from 6 to 23 with higher scores indicating a lower risk of pressure ulcer development question number 3 A Braden scale score of twelve indicates which level of risk? The options are high risk, moderate risk, low risk, or no risk. The correct answer is A. That is high risk. A score of twelve. or lower indicates a high risk of development pressure ulcers necessitating preventive measures question number 4 which factor is not assessed by the braden scale the options are sensory perception mobility nutrition or pain The correct answer is D. That is pain. The Braden scale evaluates sensory perception, moisture, activity, mobility, nutrition, and friction, but not pain. Question number fifth: Which Braden scale category assesses the patient's ability to move in bed? Your options are activity, mobility, sensory perception, or friction and shear. The correct answer is B. That is mobility. The mobility category evaluates how well a patient can change their body position independently. Question number six. Hello friends welcome back to dear competitive exam youtube channel today you are attending 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on braden scale and this is the part 1 of this series so let's challenge your quality of learning let's see what will be your score out of 50 from this part 1 so do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of question and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue question number 6 what does a score of 1 in sensory perception indicate two options are no impairment completely limited slightly limited or moderately limited the correct answer is b that is completely limited a score of 1 in sensory perception indicates that the patient has no ability to feel discomfort or pain increasing the risk of pressure ulcers Question number seven. What is the purpose of assessing moisture in the Braden scale? 
two options are to check for fluid balance, to determine skin exposure to moisture, to evaluate urinary output, or to assess hydration status. The correct answer is D. B that is to determine skin exposure to moisture. Moisture refers to how often the skin is exposed to moisture, which can lead to skin breakdown. Question number 8. In the Braden scale, which score reflects the greatest risk of pressure ulcers? Your options are 20, 15, 9 or 18. The correct answer is C that is 9. The lower Braden scale scores such as 9 indicate a higher risk of pressure ulcers and call for more aggressive preventive intervention. Question number 9. The friction and shear category assesses which of the following? The options are Skin's reaction to rubbing Frequency of turning Amount of fluid intake Or Joint flexibility The correct answer is A. That is skin's reaction to rubbing. This category measures the effect of friction and shear forces on the skin, which can increase the likelihood of ulcers. Question number 10. What is the recommended intervention for a patient with a Braden scale score of 10? Two options are no intervention needed, frequent repositioning and pressure relief, increase oral hydration, or provide dietary supplements. The correct answer is B that is frequent repositioning and pressure relief. A score of 10 indicates high risk and frequent repositioning and use of pressure relieving devices are essential to prevent ulcers. Question number 11. Which score indicates no risk for pressure ulcers on the Braden scale? Two options are 6, 12, 18 or 23. The correct answer is D that is 23. A score of 23 is the highest possible and indicates that the patient has no significant risk of developing pressure ulcers. Question number 12. The Braden scale is primarily used for which type of patient? Two options are pediatric patients, patients with mental illness, patients with limited mobility, or pregnant women. The correct answer is C. There is patients with limited mobility. The Braden scale is designed for a patients with limited mobility who are at increased risk of pressure ulcers due to prolonged immobility. Question number 13. How often should a patient at high risk of pressure ulcers be repositioned? Two options are every 2 hours, every 6 hours, every 12 hours or every 24 hours. The correct answer is A that is every 2 hours. The frequent repositioning typically every 2 hours helps reduce pressure on areas prone to ulcers and it is crucial for high risk patients. Question number 14. What does a score of 2 in the activity category mean? Your options are 
bed fast walks occasionally chair fast or walks frequently the correct answer is c that is chair fast a score of 2 in activity means the patient is confined to a chair and cannot walk increasing the risk of pressure ulcer development question number 15 which category of the braden scale evaluates food intake two options are mobility nutrition sensory perception or moisture the correct answer is b that is nutrition the nutrition category assesses the patient's usual food intake pattern and its adequacy which is vital for maintaining skin integrity question number 16 what does a score of 1 in the activity category represent two options are walks occasionally chair fast confined to bed or walks frequently the correct answer is c that is confined to bed a score of 1 in the activity category means the patient is bed fast and unable to get out the bed putting them at higher risk for pressure ulcers question number 17 which factor in the braden scale assesses whether the patient can independently change position or not two options are activity sensory perception mobility or friction and shear the correct answer is c that is mobility mobility refers to the patient's ability to change and control their body position independently question number 18 how many factors does the braden scale assesses your options are 4 5 6 or 7 the correct answer is c that is 6 the braden scale assesses six factors those are sensory perception moisture activity mobility nutrition and friction and shear question number 19 in the moisture category what does a score of 1 indicate two options are skin usually dry skin is occasionally moist skin is constantly moist or skin is rarely moist The correct answer is C that is skin is constantly moist. A score of 1 in moisture means the patient's skin is constantly exposed to moisture, increasing the risk of skin breakdown. Question number 20. Which intervention is critical for patients with a low Braden scale score? Two options are increasing mobility reducing fluid intake daily stretching exercise or using anticoagulants the correct answer is a that is increasing mobility for patients with low scores increasing mobility or using assistive devices helps to reduce the risk of pressure ulcers question number 21 what does a score of 1 in nutrition signify two options are adequate diet very poor nutritional intake slightly below normal intake or occasionally eats full meals the correct answer is b that is very poor nutritional intake A score of one in nutrition indicates a very poor intake, such as inadequate meals or frequent refusal to eat.
which can impair skin healing. Question number 22. Which patient would most likely to have a high Braden scale score? The options are a bedridden elderly patient, a patient with good mobility and regular diet, a malnourished patient with moisture exposure, or a patient with impaired sensation. The correct answer is A that is the patient, B that is a patient with good mobility and regular diet. Patients with good mobility, educate nutrition and no sensory impairment tend to have higher scores, reflecting a lower risk of pressure ulcers. Question number 23. What is the purpose of the friction and shear category? Show options are to assess muscle strength, to evaluate skin's exposure to rubbing and sliding forces, to measure food intake, or to check joint flexibility. The correct answer is B that is to evaluate skin's exposure to rubbing and sliding forces. Friction and shear assesses the skin's exposure to forces caused by sliding and bed or a chair, which can lead to skin injury. Question number 24. What score in the friction and shear category indicates minimal risk? The options are 1, 2, 3 or 4. The correct answer is C that is 3. A score of 3 in friction and shear indicates minimal exposure to these forces, reducing the risk of pressure ulcers. Question number 25. What is an appropriate intervention for a patient with a high moisture score? The options are increase physical activity, use moisture wicking fabrics or barrier creams, encourage frequent meals, or, or administer diuretics. The correct answer is B that is to use moisture wicking fabrics or barrier creams. Using moisture wicking fabrics or applying barrier creams can help to protect the skin from excess moisture and prevent breakdown. Friends, it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.